to the world of colors. I'm Colors. I'm back after a brief break. I feel a lot better now. And I'm ready to make independence with you today. This is what he looks like. I've made independence before with a different, some different supplies. And I've come up with a easier way to make him. An easier way to get the supplies to make him. So we'll try that out today. And I'll be right back with you to tell you about the supplies we're going to What we're going to use to make independence is we're going to need a 4 inch long by 13 inch wide piece of faux fur. And we're going to need a 7 inch long by 8 inch wide piece of faux fur. And then we're going to get from Dollar Tree some a scatter foam in the star red, white, and blue scatter foam, the decorator mesh ribbon. They have this in red, white, and blue, and I'm using the red. We're going to use the two of the tea lights that are in the 4th of July section. They come two in a package. I'm just going to use one of these. And then we're going to use one of these USA signs that come in a package of five, I believe. I'm going to use one of those in how you see it and then I'm going to take the ribbon off of one of them and we're going to use the ribbon and then we're going to use some of the jute this thin jute I get at Joann's in the jewelry section and it really works well to tie off the rubber bands then we're going to use a 15 by 26 piece of white fleece we're going to you need to order from Amazon these four three-inch pom-poms. We're going to use three of them from, from Amazon. And you get those pretty quick. And also the hat. It's a glitz and gleam hat. Uncle Sam hat from Amazon. I got mine overnight with the pom-poms. The rockets I got at my local grocery store. He's holding rockets here. Um, you can also use the pinwheel with the USA sign. If you, if you don't have uh, a way to get the rockets, use the pinwheel with the USA sign. Looks really cute too. And then we're going to use our polyester fiber fill, some rubber bands, our flat marbles, some blush, and our glue sticks, glue gun, and our scissors. And that should be it. So I'll be right First back. First thing we're going to do is take the 15 by 26 inch piece of white fleece. I've got it folded in half here. And you want to bring the 15 inch ends together. And then fold it back like that. I use my scissors to hold that down. And I just uh, want to run my glue along the edge. And then just put your fabric up on there. And we'll let that set up. The next thing you want to do is just to pick it up on the corner there, on the side that you just glued together, and just start gathering it together. Just want to hold all your gathers there. Take your rubber band and then we'll take our jute
then you want to turn it right side out. And then I just kind of pull really gently around the sides in a circle like that. And you just want to put your little, looks like a little sack. And we're going to put some flat marbles inside. Now you can use the front, this, this glue seam, to be the front of your head here, of your body. You're going to use the, the glue seam there because the beard's going to cover that up. And we're going to put the marbles in there. And then we want to take some polyester fiber fill and fill it up to where you can just have enough room to gather it up and tie it up with a rubber band. So I'm going to fill mine up and I'll be right back with you. The next thing we're going to do, I've got this all gathered like I did the bottom part and rubber banded and the, then the jute on there. Um, the next thing we want to do is put the hat on. So I've got my hat right here. This is a Glitz and Gleam Uncle Sam hat from Amazon that I got overnight. And you want to fill it to about the, the last line there. To about the last line. Not all the way. Leave about an inch to go down on this. So we're going to put that on there, we've got the seam being our front, put it on there like that. And then you just want to start gluing it on. Put your glue on like that and just hold it down. And you want to go all the way around your hat. It's going to look like this. And then we'll go on from there. I'll be right back with you. The next thing we want to do is put the nose on. So you want to take that package of four three-inch pom-poms that you got on Amazon. We're going to use three of these. They're going to fluff out good. You want to take some blush and give it a little color. I'm doing this before I put the beard on so it's not, we don't have a pink beard. That should be good. I'm going to turn it to the back side and get some glue. And just put it up like that. And we're going to let that set up the nose on and I want to take my seven inch long by eight inch wide beard and fold it in half like that and do your slit about an inch a little more than an inch it's kind of a big nose isn't it 
And we're going to put it up and around the nose like that. Up and around the nose. And then glue it right at the where the hat brim hits. Just glue it right up like that. that set up in a minute. While that's setting up, we can get the two pom-poms that we're going to use for the hands. I'm going to put some blush on them and then I'm going to glue them right here to the sides. Right here on both sides just below the rim of the hat. Be right back with you. So the next thing we want to do is put the back hair on. We've got the, the hands on here. Just turn them around, kind of turn them up this way. Get your back hair out. So your four inch long by 13 inch wide piece of fur. And just kind of go in the middle with your glue there. And we'll get them started, find that middle point. And then you just want to do each side. And that's his back hair. Now I was styling his beard and, and mustache, I'm taking a little hairspray. And your little pet here. And get that styled. And I'll be right back in a moment and we'll start putting the accessories on it. First thing we're going to do on the accessory part is the rocket that is over here on this side. Can't really see it back here right now. I'll show you that. We're going to make this rocket piece first and attach that. So you want to take your ribbon, your mesh ribbon, we're going to use the whole thing from Dollar Tree. See if I can get this. There we go. And what I was doing was taking the ribbon from one of the USA signs Taking the ribbon from one of these little signs, you get five of these signs in a package, so you should have some extra ribbon there. Taking the ribbon off of that, and then just tying the ribbon in three places around, 
like that. You want to do that in three places and then open your foam stars and you use just about the second to the smallest size red, white, and blue stars and you glue them right on where you knotted your ribbon. And we're going to do that three times on the rocket. And I'll be right back with you. Got the ribbons on there and the stars glued on. And then we want to take our little tea light. I picked silver. And we're going to just put glue all along the edge here. And put your little tea light on there. So it looks like a little firework. I'm going to let that set up and then we're going to attach it. Be right back. Attach the firework now by putting some glue right on this hand over here. I don't want to glue this on top of the mustache. I want to keep the mustache free out of there. And then put some glue on the hand and we'll glue it right to that spot. And then I'm going to glue it again down here on the, be the beard. there. I'm going to let that set up a little bit and then I'm going to glue it down here and I'll be right back with you. Got the firework glued on. I glued the spots that I told you I was going to do but I did two additional spots. I did the hat to the top here just a little spot right there and also I picked up the beard and, and did behind the beard right here so that it doesn't keep coming out on you it'll stay stay on there nicely so glue behind the beard here and on top here so it's more secure now we're going to go over to the other side and we're going to glue on the rockets or the pinwheel whatever you have and we're going to get the bottom of your rockets right down here to the bottom and that's about how high you want it and then we're going to put some glue on the hand get your glue on your hand like that and just get that so your rockets are facing out like that and let that set up and after that sets up a little bit you can get in there and get some glue down here and that'll be glued on secure. So I'll give that a couple, couple we minutes. We have the rockets on there. And we want to put the USA sign on there. So we're going to just glue it right here to the rockets. I'll put some glue on the back of the sign. And after that sets up a little bit, I'll glue the bottom to the bottom of the rockets. And I'll be right back with you. Got those glued on. And the last thing we want to do is take the large red foam star and put that behind the mustache, but yet you want to be able to see it. And that's all there is to making him. I'll be right back. Oh, that's that's how he finishes. It doesn't take a lot to make him. He's really easy and fast. You can get the supplies practically, you know, I got mine overnight. And uh, 
I would recommend that you do the sign to go with them. I get the little chalkboard at Dollar Tree, and you can get the little chalk writers uh, markers at Dollar Tree. And that's how they look. And if you like this video, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.